from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I am a golden god! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Here we are, you and me here on the radio. <laughs> oh, baby. And we appreciate your patronage. Nothing like sitting here and doing this radio program. You know the deal. And um, thank you all, by the way, for just bombarding us with email at Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. You keep doing it, baby. You just keep writing into Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. You just keep sending the material in. It's uh, really amazing how much you are sending in. Many of you have been uh, sending your complaints about uh, the thugs who uh, make up the uh, Los Angeles film crews. Uh, keep sending that stuff in. We are uh, we're gathering all of your material. It, it just send it to Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. And uh, we're going to use that to, uh, to, to fight that, to fight the thugs. Absolutely. So, uh, but uh, literally, I mean, uh, dozens and dozens of very specific emails have been coming in, and uh, we're going to use that material. So I just want you to know that. Anyway, appreciate your patronage. Appreciate you being with us. And uh, I want to tell you about a story. Uh, this story uh, involves, uh, well, a name you may have heard before. This is a former baseball player. And... Uh, some allegations made against this former baseball player. It is not a sports story, though. So when you hear it, if you're not a sports fan, don't worry. It's not about sports. It's about a person who has played sports. Are we ready for this? Here it is. Again, this is from USA Today. I do not know if the claims contained in this story are true or false. But I'm going to read the story to you, and then you'll have a chance to comment on it. Here it is. Dateline, New York. An ex-girlfriend of Roberto Alomar. Remember Roberto Alomar? All-star second baseman. Played most of his career for the Baltimore Orioles. That's right, the spit guy. Exactly. Played for the Cleveland Indians. The guy who spit on the umpire. That's right. Boy, I hate to be that umpire. You hear this? <laughs> An ex-girlfriend of Roberto Alomar has filed an explosive lawsuit. Have you heard about this lawsuit? Roberto Alomar is being sued by an ex-girlfriend who alleges that the former baseball star insisted on unprotected sex for four years despite having AIDS. The lawsuit, <laughs> the lawsuit filed January 30th and transferred to U.S. District Court on Wednesday contains accusations that could not be corroborated but portray Alomar as someone who demanded sex without a condom despite showing obvious signs of HIV. Now, can I jump in here for one second? You're sitting next to somebody. They're close to you. And they say, let's have sex. And you look at them, and you think they've got symptoms of HIV. What, what can some of those symptoms be? I don't know, lesions. They've suddenly lost a lot of weight. Maybe they've got, um, you know, uh, some of these uh, melanomas or whatever that uh, that people with uh, HIV get. They weigh 92 pounds. I mean, there's various possible reasons. And by the way, even if you don't know what the symptoms of AIDS or HIV might be. Age and age. By the way, AIDS and HIV, two different things for a whole other show. But let's just say whether it's AIDS or HIV, this person you're looking at who wants to have sex with you tells you, I want to have unprotected sex with you. And you think that there's a possibility they have HIV or AIDS. Can I ask you a question? Do you have sex with them? 
What kind of person would say yes? And by the way, what kind of person would say yes for four years? Could it be somebody who says, this guy's got money. This guy is a former baseball player. This guy is famous. I mean, why in the world would you agree to have sex with a guy you thought had HIV or AIDS? By the way, I don't know if he has HIV or AIDS. She claims he has AIDS. Fine. We'll find out if he does. But okay, for the purposes of this conversation, if you believe he does, whether he does or he doesn't, if you believe he does, why would you have sex with him? Uh, for four years, why would you have sex with him once? If I am looking at a chick and I see something that to me looks like there might be any doubt about whether she is HIV positive or has AIDS, I'm out. Out. I am out. No discussion necessary. You would never see me file a lawsuit and say that I was having sex with someone for four years who I thought had AIDS, and then they did. It wouldn't happen. Because if I thought they had AIDS, I, by definition, I wouldn't be having sex with them. I, the story continues. Ilya Dahl, D-A-L-L, -L, is seeking at least $15 million in punitive damages from the 41-year-old former infielder. Alomar, who was once engaged to tennis star Mary Pierce. Uh, can I speak to Mary Pierce, please? This is the, uh, it's the health department calling. It's a private matter. <laughs> Ooh -wee. He spent 17 years in the majors and was one of the game's great second basemen. Calls seeking comment to lawyers for Alomar and Dahl were not immediately returned. Alomar lawyer Charles Bach told the New York Daily News the allegations are frivolous and baseless. So uh, what did the media do? They went and tracked down his father, Sandy Alomar Sr., who is a coach for the New York Mets, if I recall correctly, and was once a catcher for the Chicago White Sox, if I recall correctly, and the Mets at one time. All right. So uh, what did he say? Well, he was talking to a newspaper in Puerto Rico called El Nuevo Dia. And he said, news of the lawsuit was something out of the blue. We've never talked about something like this. Dahl said the two began dating in spring 2002 and had unprotected sex for the next four years. She said that on several occasions during that time, Alomar refused to get tested for HIV despite severe fatigue, sores on his mouth and throat, a constant cough, and an infection of the esophagus that is associated with AIDS. That's about the time I'd say, you know what, I'm cutting you off, pal. I'm cutting you off. The way you would cut off a throat of the infield, I'm cutting you off. Says here, she said Alomar finally relented and tested positive for HIV in February 2006. Dahl said she was angered by the disclosure and was tested herself. The result was negative. She said follow-up exams determined that Alomar had full-blown AIDS. Now, by the way... <laughs> if she did not have AIDS, what are the damages? If she's not HIV positive, I don't even see how you file a lawsuit. What are the damages here? But that's a whole other question. So she says, after the follow-up exam, uh, follow exams determined that Alomar had full-blown AIDS, by then she said Alomar had purple skin, was foaming at the mouth, and was too sick to walk, forcing him to need a wheelchair to get around in an airport. Dahl said the ordeal caused her severe emotional and mental distress and fear that one day she may test positive for HIV herself. She called the conduct of Alomar outrageous with wanton, reckless disregard of the health, safety, and well-being of Dahl. Now, of course, now uh, buried deep in the story comes the really relevant paragraph that I was referring to earlier. It says here the lawsuit does not say why Dahl continued to have unprotected sex with Alomar. 
I would say that's going to cost her in the courtroom. <laughs> Says here, Dahl said the couple lived together until last year. Then it goes on to tell you that Alomar is one of baseball's best players of the 1990s. 12 straight All-Star appearances. Won two World Series with the Toronto Blue Jays. Career 300 hitter, 10 gold gloves. Broke in with San Diego. Also played for Baltimore, Cleveland, the New York Mets, the Arizona Diamondbacks, and the Chicago White Sox. He was out of baseball by 2005. I imagine if you're foaming at the mouth, there's not a lot of teams that want to take a chance on you. One of the most memorable moments of Alomar's career came in 1996 when he became enraged after a third strike and spit on umpire John Hirschbeck. Mr. Hirschbeck, uh, it's the health department calling. Uh, did you have a spitting incident about uh, 13 years ago? We need to talk. He drew a five-game suspension that was later overturned. All right. Kind of the way Roberto Alomar's life is being overturned now. All right, there's your story, folks. This brings up a whole host of questions. Why would you have sex with somebody if you thought they were HIV positive or they had AIDS? Uh, is it your job to tell somebody that you're HIV positive? Well, how about a condom? Uh, let's forget AIDS and HIV. If someone insists on unprotected sex, can't you just say no? You can say no, right? And then, do we even know if this is true? I guess we'll find out uh, through this whole process, but obviously her goal is to embarrass the crap out of this guy for whatever reason. Let's get your reaction to it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-866. A whole host of questions. Give me some of the answers. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. All right, Roberto Alomar, former all-star second baseman, gold glover, won a couple of World Series. His ex-girlfriend says he has AIDS, and he insisted on unprotected sex for four years. Uh, by the way, <laughs> how do you insist on something for four years and get it? I mean, if you don't want to give it, don't give it. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Uh, your story is amazing to hear, and all I can think of is now I understand why they created the Darwin Awards. This woman is the 2009 winner. <laughs> you look like you have AIDS. No, I don't. Let's have sex without a rubber. But you look like you're HIV positive. No, I'm not. Here. Have, uh, let's have sex. Okay. Even if she even if she prevails, she may not live long enough to enjoy the money. So. Well, on top of that, it says here that she's tested negative. So here's my question. What exactly are the damages? The emotional distress of being stupid. Boo freaking who? That's right. And whose fault is that? <laughs> hey, Tom, take me out with a screaming orgasm and a thank you, Jesus. Here you go, Mike. Oh, oh God. Oh, yes. Yes! Thank you, Jesus! It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Jay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, just, hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. I look at it this way. If that lady knew all that about this man, you know, I mean, her life was worth that much to kill herself to try to get some money from this man. Well, that, my opinion is that that's what this is all about. Yeah, that's all it's about. But she might not, like the other guy said, she might not even live to spin it. Well, but again, she she didn't even, she did, she test negative for HIV. Yeah, but what about six months from now? No, 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 but the point is the relationship ended in 2006. This is 2009. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, so then what exactly is the damage? Yeah, no damage. <laughs> On top of that, how do you explain to the jury that you thought the guy had AIDS, you thought he had all the symptoms of AIDS, but you went ahead and had unprotected sex with him, not once, not twice, but for four years! Shut up. What's the money? 
You're kidding me. <laughs> a false you want it. That's what I think. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number. Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. Yeah. Sorry. I had you on speaker thinking. Uh, okay, all I got to say is she tested negative for HIV, right? Did she test negative for being a retard as well? I don't know. <laughs> because, I mean, honestly, I, I'm 24, and a lot of people say I'm stupid, but I use a condom. I'm not that stupid. And if you see symptoms of having HIV, really, at any time, you could say no. If anything, Alomar should counter Sue back for just her just, I don't even know how to explain it. She's, she's just like, how do you not say no? My girl tells me no. I go, please. And she goes, no. And I go, all right. How does how does she not have enough willpower to say no? By the way, if my girl says no, she becomes my ex girl. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> no Fair date, enough. no date rape over here. I would never impose myself on someone who doesn't want it. I would impose uh, myself on the next person. Fair enough, fair enough. I just wanted to point that out. I mean, honestly, it's like she's saying emotional damage and all this stuff, but she doesn't even have HIV. She's tested negative. So what's the emotional damage? I really don't get it. Uh, I, I I agree with you. Edgar on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going great. I just had a question. If, um, if the baseball player knew that he was HIV positive and he spit at the umpire's face knowing that he was HIV positive, can't the umpire get him for like some sort of like you know attempted murder or some sort of? Well, charge? I think they, they that he would have to prove that uh, Alomar knew he was HIV positive, and oh. according to this story, he didn't get tested until the two thousands, which is way after that incident happened. So, all right, just wanted to call. I just had that question; it was kind of like on my mind. I understand, Edgar. Thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Eddie on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello. Father. Hello, Eddie. Long time first time, sir. Long time listener, first time caller. Yeah, I just wanted to comment, man. It seems like this chick is trying to get her own economic stimulus plan for her own wallet off this guy, man. Because I've had many of uh, sexual experiences of different kinds, not just unprotected sex with many women. And if they don't want to do it, they say no, and that's the end of it. So this chick, and then the fact that it's years later... It's utterly ridiculous that she's even trying right now, especially with him retired. He probably doesn't even have that money anymore. Uh, but, you know, again, whatever money he has or doesn't have, the bottom line here is the minute you say, I thought he had HIV, but I continued having sex with him for another four years, it's kind of hard, in my view, to say that she's entitled to a penny. Yeah, I, I don't think any jury would ever convict him of any of that, and she's just embarrassing herself like that Octuplet chick did. Thank you, Eddie. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's the telephone number here. This is Devin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello. Hey, I just wanted to call because I think it's she's kind of being a little intelligent. I mean, it's she's kind of terrible. But if you think about it, what she's trying to do is just embarrass him enough so that way she'll settle out of court, and then she just takes the money and runs. Well, but guess what? Though the cat's now out of the bag, uh, so there's no incentive for him to settle. Well. Maybe he's got some dirty little secrets that she can bring out that he doesn't want to know about. Maybe he's into something a little uh, in the bedroom that maybe if she brings that up, he'll uh, he'll want to keep but quiet. But then, of course, we'll, then quicker. of course, we'll all know she's into it too. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. <laughs> you got to think but, before you reveal that stuff to people. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, can you take me out with uh, screaming Bill O'Reilly? Yes, of course I can. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. Well, no. We'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Lindsay on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey. You know she's a piece of work because number one, it's up to all of us as individuals that if we have any concerns and we're going to have unprotected sex, to have the person get tested and then show that they're okay. So she's just, you know, she's just out for a buck. Well, that's what I think. I mean, why in the world would anyone have sex with somebody who they think is HIV positive? You'd have to be crazy. Well, or 
even if, you know, in this day and age, I mean, if you just, you, you want to be careful. So she's just showing herself to be really a stupid person out for a buck. And it's just, it just, you know, it, it's disgusting, I think. I agree with you, and I thank you very much for the call. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. A shorter commercial breaks. Fewer commercials. More telephone calls from people like you at one 800 800 tom We're talking about the lawsuit by one Ilya Dahl, the ex-girlfriend of former Major League Baseball player Roberto Alomar. She says he's got AIDS. And not only that, she says he insisted on unprotected sex during four years when they lived together. Good <laughs> oh boy. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. So, I've been sitting here waiting, and I think, uh, I think, oh, no, I can't even say it, man. She's a money grubber. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna try to get on her side just to kind of stir up the pot, but. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, Julie, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Okay, Mike. Well, first of all, I think she's an absolute idiot. You could nobody could pay me enough money to do it with somebody who might even possibly be HIV positive, let alone be completely full blown AIDS. But my question is, on what basis did the attorney take the case? If he took the case on a contingency basis, there's got to be more to it than what's in the article. If he didn't take it on a contingency case, then the attorney's a real money grubber. Because I don't think a jury would ever give anybody money based on just the information. Well, that, are uh, you are you an attorney? No, I'm an accountant. Okay. I mean, my whole question here, and maybe an attorney can answer this, I have to imagine this is a pretty easy case to dispose of. I imagine the question... Uh, from Roberto Alomar's attorney would be, uh, if you believe that Mr. Alomar had AIDS, why did you continue to have sex with him for four years? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But if, if the attorney took it on a contingency, he's got to believe that there's going to be some kind of settlement on her case. Or why would, it, why would an attorney take the case? You know what I mean? Well, it's could be just, yeah, could, could also be to get publicity, for example. True, true. Very true. Anyways, can, I, can I go off the little Bill O'Reilly? I just love that one. Oh, of course you can, Julie. Here you I go. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F*** it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Uh, f***ing thing sucks. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Mike of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing Okay. I'm one of your new listeners, and I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, you got a lifelong customer on the line. I love it. Well, congratulations on the success. But first of all, I want to say that this is the choice. This, we live in a country of choice. You, have, you choose who you have sex with. Second of all, I agree with compensation for property damage, but self-inflicted emotional damage should not be compensated in this country. What do you think? Well, again, uh, you look at somebody and you believe that they are HIV positive. Guess what? I'm done. I don't want to have sex with you. I don't know what's wrong with the people in this country looking for a free handout, especially with bailout. $4.1 billion for voting fraud. I mean, how is that creating jobs for this country? Well, that's a whole other question that has nothing to do with what we're talking about here. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Monica on the Tom Likas show. Hey Tom, how are you? I'm doing okay. Well, this is, has something to do with it, and I just kind of wanted to let those guys out there know that no matter what a woman looks like, good or bad, I personally know a woman who has. HIV AIDS from her husband. Um, she, I guess he messed up on her, caught AIDS from a stripper, and uh, he obviously gave it to her, and now she's so sour that she's going around sleeping with people knowing she has it and not telling anyone anything. 
Well, uh, again, I think that's a very easy uh, 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 thing to get upset about, and I understand why. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, the fact is that you are required to tell people, uh, I believe by law, and certainly uh, in a lawsuit, if you know you're HIV positive and you have sex with them, uh, you're required to do that. But you could, uh, I don't think there's any criminal prosecution. I think there's liability possibilities. But if you admit that yeah, that you thought someone was HIV positive and <laughs> and you had sex with them anyway, how do you win a lawsuit? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you're if you're doing it to yourself, then come on. But this woman, I mean, she's just doing it, not telling anyone. I mean, the last person I know she did that to was like an 18, 19-year-old kid. Went partying with him one night. That's what I'm telling you. Tell your listeners that. No matter how good a woman looks like, you've got to be careful. You've got to protect yourself. Women, men, everybody, it doesn't matter. You know, because there's people out there that look like they're absolutely fine. And, and they have it. And they have it. So, I mean, she shouldn't get a dime for anything that, like, the listener before said, self-inflicted. It's ridiculous. You know, she shouldn't get anything. But, I mean, just to let everyone else know, just because they have it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to show that they have anything. Good points, Monica. Thank you for the call. It's Billy on the Tom Lika Show. You're an attorney. What's the deal? Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Good. Uh, this is a, a, an interesting case uh, in two respects. If I were representing Alomar, the first thing I'd want to know is whether he had AIDS or whether he was HIV positive. Right. Okay. And then... And then, assuming he was HIV positive and he did have AIDS, I wouldn't take the case. I wouldn't defend him unless he just wanted to cut a deal. Yes, there is the issue regarding why she continued to have sex with him. I don't think the article is clear, for a t at least not for what I listened to, for the timeline. Um, there's nothing in it that says she didn't or didn't continue once the suspicions were confirmed or did or didn't continue once she developed those suspicions. But she might have just been his nursemaid or something. That's the trouble with news articles, not enough detail. Well, look, she said she had sex with him for four years. He demanded to have sex without a condom. Yes, that's now, true. And if she didn't want to have sex without a condom, he's out the door. I mean, let, look, let's face it. Let's flip it around. Would you ever... To agree to demands from a woman to have sex with you without a condom? Well, I put it this way. If I thought she was HIV positive or had AIDS, absolutely not, and probably not in any case. Oh, yeah. I've been listening to you for a long time. I'm right. absolutely certain when you quote, when you do like this 101, yeah. you're a strong advocate of safe sex. One hundred percent of the time. One hundred percent. And so... If she thought he was HIV and continued to have sex with him, then she's inviting her own damages, and there's an awful lot of offset there. Yeah, exactly. Billy, thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Krista on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Good. I, my question is, I do believe she's a complete moron, but at the same time, why didn't he... Why my 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 question is his intentions in having sex with her also? Why would he want to have sex with his girlfriend and endanger her life as well? Well, again, according to the the, the lawsuit, he didn't know what he had or if he had anything, and he didn't want to be tested. So, he, so he my response to that, look, if I were the woman. And I said, uh, you know, you got these lesions, you got these cold sores, you're always coughing, you're tired, you got all these uh, melanomas all over your body. Maybe you ought to go and get tested. Now, she said no. My next response would be, well, we're done having sex. But also, we're done. It's his more. I mean, his, don't you think? Have, don't you think women have any responsibilities at all? I mean, if you think someone is HIV positive, don't you think she should stop having sex with him that day? Definitely. She's definitely. All right. So but, then the question is, why did she have sex with him for another four years and then have the gall to file a lawsuit saying he insisted on unprotected sex for four years? I mean, right. guess what? It, that's called rape. If somebody doesn't want to have unprotected sex, they just say no. Right. Right. But he he's basically injecting her with his. He couldn't do it if she said no. 
Right, but I'm just saying, and that's true, but I'm just saying... Uh, what in my the opinion, instances? in my opinion, she should be able to prove that she said no and he raped her. Then you got my attention. Right. But I just, I'm, like I said, I just don't know why he would want... I don't care. We, I don't care what his motivation is, okay? That's irrelevant. My question is... Why would somebody willingly have sex with someone who insists on unprotected sex when you think they're HIV positive or they have AIDS? Why would you do that? Because she's dumb. All right. And then what right do you have then to claim damages? You did it to yourself. No, definitely, yeah. All right, Tom, can you take me out um, with that guy that called that he shot his wife? Oh, uh, Freddie Wilhite, of course. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me, and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I'll see if she's alive. She's alive? She's dead. I think she's dead. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Um, I don't know why you're surprised the lawyer would take this case when they took the case of fat people blaming McDonald's for them being fat. Um, that's certainly true. And in my case, uh, I believe that uh, certainly an attorney would take this because he thinks there's a chance of getting a settlement or just to get the publicity. There's a lot of good reasons for an attorney to take the case. It was the caller who was surprised. Yes, you know, that's all I want to say. Uh, could you take me out with the bong rip, please? Yes, Brian, I can. Thank you, Tom. Tom like is one 800 Five eight hundred Tom one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six 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 the Tom Likas Show. Clean hundred five eight hundred Tom. Uh, here we are talking about one. Her name is Ilya Dahl, D A L L. She has filed uh, a lawsuit seeking at least $15 million in punitive damages from 41-year-old Roberto Alomar, former Major League Baseball player who she says has AIDS. And she says he insisted on unprotected sex for four years while they were living together. She had asked him to go get tested, and he said no, but she apparently kept having sex with him. Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Jay on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jay. Tom, it just goes to show you it's exactly what you've been telling us. Women are attracted to men for fame, power, or some sort of, you know, rich empowerment. You know, it's like they can care less about their health. They just want money. Right. They want your money. And one last thing I want to add to Like This 101 about women. Make sure, guys, you use your own condoms. Never trust a woman to supply the condoms because they can poke holes in it. You are right about that. Daniel on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello. Oh. You there? Tom? Yes. Hey, I wanted, I wanted to call in on this. This lawsuit is absolutely frivolous. I mean, it's ridiculous. I don't think she should be getting paid for failing to use common sense and free will, which in this country we're all entitled to. Right. I, I, I'm pretty sure that she was honestly just, uh, I'm pretty sure she was living with them, having sex with them because she wanted a meal ticket. Then that ended, and she figured another way that she could get some money out of them. I mean, really, if, 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 if you uh, tell a guy, hey, hey, wear a condom, and he says, oh, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, if you think he's got AIDS, it's time for you to stop having sex with him. Oh no! Forget that. Even if she thinks she, even if she thinks he might have had AIDS, uh, I'm sorry. If a woman says wear a condom, I'm gonna put one on. I put one on anyway, unless I know the girl and we've been tested together. That's common sense. Of course. And here she is now claiming. Well, he said that he was clean, but he just he wouldn't wear a condom and he wouldn't get tested. That's crap. That's complete and utter crap. I, I you know, agree. I agree with you. Uh, how low self-esteem and how weak of a person do you have to be to okay go along with that? A, a very good question, Daniel, and hopefully uh, Roberto Alamo's attorney will be asking that one in court. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Mike 
on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing? All right, he disappeared. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, all this condom talk, I had, uh, I had to finally call in. Um, I actually, I had a, a girlfriend, a long distance thing. I know how you feel about those. But uh, we both were tested, clean, whatever. And um, we, we at first weren't having, uh, we were having sex without a condom. But then, I don't know, a few triggers. Uh, it just scared me a bit. She said she was on birth control, but then I found out she wasn't taking it regularly. Um, she'd skip days. And, you know, I have sisters, so I asked my oldest sister it was awkward but i had to ask her how it all works and she was like well that really reduces the chance of it working effectively so um finally i just was like you know what i'm not having sex anymore unless we use a condom and she actually said to me, she was like unless um you wear a condom i don't really or unless you don't wear a condom i don't really want to have sex because i don't feel intimate that way uh, uh, and it, i Intimate, I intimate, like, intimate with your intimate with your net worth is what she wants to get intimate with. Right, right. So finally, uh, you know what? I just told her that's the only way I'm gonna do it, and um, you know everything. Everything worked out. We did it, and let's just say she got her rocks off. I got mine off. It's all good. So strap it up. That's that's what I say. Strap it up, gentlemen. Strap it up. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Jay on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dr. Tom. Hey, Jay. Hey, uh, you know, I uh, was listening to your show, big fan, and I got to say I had a situation like that about a year ago. Uh, not with the AIDS thing, but definitely with a girl not wanting me to wear a condom. And uh, I know that's kind of the opposite of what's going on, but, um, you know, what happened was she was, divorce she had two kids and um you know i was in town i was uh working on a film and uh basically you know the first night i was stupid and i did exactly what you know you tell all your viewers not to do and that's not to wear a condom and you know the next night i said uh look you got to wear a condom uh, or i i got to wear a condom i just can't I just don't feel safe. You know, that was really stupid on my part and everything else. And she said, well, I'm allergic to condoms. And, you know, from that that instance right there gave me a clue. Look, I need to just walk away. That's right. And I tell you all the time, when a woman says that, you know what? Only about 1% of people are allergic to latex. And by the way, there are even condoms now that are not made of latex. So the allergic to latex thing won't wash. Trojan actually makes a condom that is not latex. It's another material. Yeah, and you know, I uh, I was stupid, and I, you know, the the last night I saw her, I uh, I did put a condom on, and you know, I was really adamant on not, you know, taking it off, and you know, we're going at it, and she just kept insisting, you know. Well, take it off. Take it off. It feels better. It feels better. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm, I just can't take well, it off. Well, wait. She just contradicted herself. First, she says she's uh, allergic. And then she says, oh, it feels better. Yeah. So, so in the end, you know, I, uh, you know, I did EP and, uh, you know, I haven't looked back since. But, you know, I definitely, I think there are women out there that, uh, no, actually, I know there are women out there from that experience that, Literally, they are just trying to get more puffs in their litter, more money from uh, you know us guys, and you know they they use they use what they got to try and get it. Very good points, Jay. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's the telephone number. Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. So great to be on with you. How I know. are you? Good. No, I just wanted to call in. Here's my question for you. You're awesome. So my friend plays in a farm league in Tacoma, Washington. He plays for the Tacoma Rainiers. He gets tested before spring training, blood tests. So I don't know if it's the same thing as major leagues, but 
I know when my buddy gets tested every spring training for these type of... of I don't know about the major leagues. Uh, somewhere in all the paperwork here, it's, it claims that the reason he got tested was because I guess he was... Uh, being considered for a spot with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, and they gave him an HIV test, and he tested positive. That's what it claims. He, other than when he was playing Major League Baseball, he went. No, no, he was. He was. I, I imagine what was happening was he was a, an invitee to spring training for the Tampa Bay uh, Devil Rays at the time. They were the Devil Rays. And, oh. and uh, among the physical, uh, they they gave him an HIV test, and the claim is in this big long piece of lawsuit here that uh, they said he tested positive. Oh, you know what, Tom? I just wanted to say one thing, man. Listening to your show, I am just proud to be a 28 year old American because the intelligent level on your show is shown through every day with your callers. Top-notch. Top-notch callers, my man. Thank you, Paul. I also wanted to say, too, I'm really upset about the octuplet lady. The what lady? lady? Octuplet. Oh, the octuplet really? lady. Yeah, well, we're all upset about her, but that's a, a story for another day. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Luke on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay. This is a bad thing. If she turns around and wins this case, now I'm not an attorney, but couldn't this set a precedent for other cases similar to come about? I'm sh I'm not sure there haven't been other cases like this. You know, it's like almost opening a whole can of worms. I mean, like the same with having fraternity suits against men. The, you know, how many people are going to come out of a closet and all of a sudden start pointing fingers all over again? I got AIDS from you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's going to happen. And I believe there have been a bunch of lawsuits regarding herpes. Same deal. Especially if they can embarrass a famous person. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. By the way, if you're one of those people being annoyed by film crews in Southern California, send me your story. Send it to Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.